and welcome. You're watching Midland Public Library's Math Minute. My name is Jennifer Whipp and I'm the Maker Place Coordinator here at MPL. Every Friday, I'll be posting a video that features two things. Number one, a mathematical principle, um, concept, or piece of foundational knowledge that your child should be learning in their early years. And number two, an activity to help them practice, understand, and learn that principle. Let's get started. Today, we're gonna to be starting with the most basic of basics. We're gonna be talking about stable order principle. Stable order principle is a foundational math principle that you are probably the most familiar with. Essentially, it states that when we count, our numbers always stay in the same order. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, not one, five, four, three, nine, seven, eight. <laughs> Our children often learn this principle and begin to memorize their numbers and the order of their numbers before they even really understand what those numbers mean and how they relate to each other. And it's this fact that makes understanding this principle even more important. Let me explain. Knowing the order of their numbers plays a big role in how they're able to demonstrate their learning with future mathematical principles and knowledge like cardinality and one-to-one -one correspondence, which we'll talk about in future videos. Think of it like this. If you have the recipe memorized, baking a cake is way easier and way faster. It's the same with math. So how can you help your child pick up stable order principle? How can you help your child understand that the order of our numbers never changes and help them to memorize those numbers? There are a lot of activities that you can do. And the first and most important is to model the stable order principle for your child by incorporating counting into your everyday life. If you are stacking blocks, count them. Taking steps, count them. Putting on your boots, count them. Putting clips in their hair, count them. Picking up books from the library, count them. The more your child hears the order of their numbers, the easier it will be for them to learn them. A more intentional way to incorporate counting into your everyday life is to read counting books and to sing counting songs. Now, keep in mind that children should learn their numbers forward before they learn them backwards. They're trying to learn their stable order, so they're learning their numbers are always the same from one all the way up. So avoid books that count backwards or count down. For example, the five little monkeys who jump on the bed loses a monkey every time a monkey falls off of the bed, which means that we're learning our numbers backwards. Try to avoid that. Instead, be selective about what books you read with your child and change song lyrics so that they count forward instead of backwards. One little monkey jumping on the bed, he called out for his friend. His friend came and his mama said, now there's two little monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. They called out for their friend. Their friend came over, his mama said, now there's three little monkeys jumping on the bed. This has been Midland Public Library's Math Minute, where we help your little one stay on track in math. Thank you for watching and don't forget to tune in next week for more math principles and activities for children in their early years. Bye for now.